you are going to learn to visualize the movement of your body through science, starting with understanding muscle anatomy. This right here, this chunk right here is equivalent to the bicep, the quad, the hip flexor, all the muscles. Now, if you look, each individual, this muscle is composed of thousands of little strands, these little strands, just like this. Now, let's zoom in on this strand. If we zoom in underneath a microscope, you'll see that each strand is composed of little linkages that all link together. Tomorrow, you're going to learn how those linkages connect the different bones to form movement. To better visualize movement, you must understand the difference between the tendon and the ligament. Now, at the end of every muscle, the muscle slowly draws out. It turns into white tissue, which is a tendon. It's like a rope. And that end piece where that white rope, it dives inside of the bone and grips like a root on a tree. Now, notice the Achilles tendon, right? This is all white, but up top, above it, is the muscle. The muscle slowly marbles out into the tendon. Now, a ligament attaches is the same white tissue that's found in the tendon, but the ligament attaches from bone to bone. Bone to bone is a ligament, and muscle to bone is a tendon. Now you know. Now you know. Muscle contraction occurs the exact same way as taking a warm penis and putting it in cold water. It shrinks. Now, for example, Andrew right here, these are the tendons. This is a tendon, this is all the muscle strand, and this is another tendon. Now, imagine these are a bunch of warm penises all linked together. Penises, 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 penises. Now, imagine now, visualize all of those warm penises in a freezer and closing the door. What will happen? Contraction occurs with all of them working together and pulls the object at the end, like a bicep curl, like a quad extension. Movement, baby! Now you know. The body uses three main types of levers to create movement. The first is like using your elbow joint to do a bicep curl. Imagine this is my forearm, I'm gripping the weight here, and this is my bicep muscle. When the bicep contracts, imagine the warm penis is in cold water, it lifts the weight. The second type of lever occurs in the ankle joint, where the weight is in the middle, that's your body weight coming down on top. Imagine your body weight, this is the calf, or the penis is warm, when they contract, the ankle moves. The third type of lever is on the base of your skull is a good example, where it works like a seesaw, the old seesaw lever. So imagine all the muscles in the back of the neck. Whenever those contract, the head goes up. The head goes up. The old catapult lever. <laughs> now you know. After understanding reciprocal inhibition, you'll have a deeper understanding of how to improve upon your movement imbalances. Understand that when you do a bicep curl, for example, the bicep muscle is contracting, but the tricep muscle must relax. And the opposite happens with the tricep. Triceps on, biceps relaxed. That relates to you in so many ways. For example, if you have knee pain, your quad is overactive, pulling your weight forward, you must in turn strengthen the opposite muscle. Whatever muscle's on the other side is probably the muscle that's either tight or weak. That is called reciprocal inhibition. What a silly name. What a stupid name. It's a dumb fucking name. Fancy. What'd you, what'd you do? But now you know. You'll better understand how to protect a joint when you understand the concept called co-contraction. What that is, is when both muscles fire together. For example, when the bicep and tricep fire together, there's no movement at the joint. It doesn't move. Going down in a push-up position, same exact thing. 
Here's another example relatable to you. When you squat, most of you are squatting like this. There's no co-contraction. The back muscles fire, the core usually doesn't fire. Co-contracting your back muscles and your core in a squat like this protect the joints of the low back and the hip. How freaking cool is that? Co-contraction, now you know.